G'day everyone. A little while ago we put out a video about a type of paper plane that you can keep in the air forever by following behind with a big board. Today I want to show you how to make a UFO that looks like it defies the laws of gravity. Let's check out what we're going to need. The materials for this one are nice and simple. We just need a freezer bag and a balloon and some scissors to cut the freezer bag with. Then we need a couple of different materials to charge these things up with. For one we're going to use your hair. Now if you're follically challenged don't worry you could use a woolen jumper or the carpet or something like that. And you might need to play around with different surfaces to get this working. Things like a coffee table or the kitchen bench or a wooden table of some kind. You may have to play around a little bit to get this to work. The other thing I've found is that this doesn't always work and in my research I found that humidity makes it much harder to get the effect happening. So a warm sunny day will make this easier as well. The first step is to create our UFO. And I'm going to do that by cutting a one and a half centimetre strip off the top of my freezer bag. So I'm going to fold it up. Grab my scissors and slice a strip off. You don't need to be absolutely precise here, but this is going to form our UFO. Next, we need to charge our UFO. And we're going to do this by rubbing it on one of the surfaces that we can find. Now for me, I'm just going to use a wooden board, but you might need to play around with this, such as the kitchen bench or a coffee table or something like that. To do this, I'm just going to rub it back and forth on the board. Now you don't need to press down really hard. This isn't about friction. We're going to talk about the science later, but you just gently rub it around on the board, getting as much contact as you can. You'll know that you're getting a charge if your plastic bag sticks to the board like this. That's what we're after. Once our freezer bag's charged, which we know because it's clinging to the surface, we move on to our balloon. We just need to blow the balloon up and give it a charge as well by rubbing it on our hair or a woolen jumper or something like that. You'll know that your balloon's charged when it starts to attract your hair. We now have everything we need to get our UFO flying. So we're going to pick your UFO up, drop it in the air and hover it over the balloon. Now it may stick to your hand like mine does. Once you get it off, now we have a hovering UFO. Now that it seems like we've defied gravity, let's talk about the science that's happening here. All matter is made up of atoms, and atoms are made up of protons, neutrons and electrons. And in some materials, the electrons aren't held on to that tightly. So when they come into contact with another material, sometimes the one with the stronger pull grabs some electrons from the other. This results in that material having a negative charge because it's got more electrons. This is what's happening when we rub our freezer bag onto our surface or our balloon onto our hair. There's some transfer of electrons happening. This process is called triboelectricity or contact electrification, or you might have heard of it more commonly as static electricity. Then when two materials that have the same charge come towards each other, they want to create a repelling force. This is a bit like if you've ever tried to push two north ends of a magnet together. They push each other away. The same thing happens here with the electrical fields. Now because our balloon and our UFO had the same electric charge, they're pushing away from each other with just enough force to overcome the force of gravity. So our UFO stays hovering above our balloon and floats in the air for as long as we can keep it balanced. Hope you've had fun today following along with the video and making yourself a little UFO and I'll see you next time.